be nice if I never came down. Always on the rise, I forgot about ground. I just want to live on the top somehow. Alright guys, uh, welcome back to another ep the 8th episode of the first 3. I am go only going up to 10 on these because it's wasting a lot of my coins on unnecessary packs really. So I'm just going to go up to 10 then I'm going to start in a new series, one that I don't have to spend a lot of coins on. Uh, it's going to be sort of a road to glory but I haven't chosen the player yet to start with. We are just going to get into uh, this episode so I'm going to open the first pack now, 7,500 coins. The main player is going to be Shana Paul. Shana, yeah. Gone back to Wigan now. To it was not really. The only goal player in that. Quite deep, quite decent. So I'm just gonna sort through the costume balls and then go on to the next pack. So, on to the next pack now. Another so Probably not. A, here we get. Salvio, right mid for Benfica, yeah, he has got an inform, the inform is quite high rated I think, but we did get Sylvan Distan as well, he might be able to link him, or Shana, oh, he's got some decent defending stats and he's the quickest centre backs in the uh, Prem 71, pack. but I'll just keep this other player because he's a gold, and he's might be able to, or he's Swedish, these players in the game. So yeah, I'm just going to sort for these consumables again and then go on to the third pack. So going on to the last pack now, the last zone of this. The main player is going to be Larsen. Well, he's Swedish. We did just get that someone called Lobos, who actually looks more star skill and four star weak for. He might be able to link up with someone. We did also get Larson. So the tripod then. He's got a really good free kick on the game, things like that. To accuracy or something like that. Naughty power. But the, we also got a Fabio, you know. In the better formation, so. I think I've got Raphael as well in the club. Yeah, I'm just going to sort through the rest of the stream balls, then go on to the three players I chose and the team I made. So I have just finished uh, the team I'm going to use, but the three players I chose first, I chose Sylvan Distan. Got 71 pace, 78 defending, 78 heading. The second player I chose was Albin Ekdal. 80 dribbling, 76 passing, 71 pace. And the third player was uh, Larson, 77, 77 shots, 71 pace, 79 passing, 76 dribbling. I found that these two linked up well, well, not in game, but on chemistry, for chemistry. But yeah, just going to get into the team now. So in goal, we have, oh, we have De Gea, or De Gea, whatever you want to say. It costs me 1,700 coins, 85 diving, 87 reflexes, 85 kicking. Could have gone with any Prem keeper. I was going to go with Loris, but his inform came out yesterday and his price gone up by about 10 or 15k. So I didn't really want to pay that, knowing that I'm going to lose money. But De, De Gea or De Hay is probably the best Prem keeper for me. His inform is really. I've have made loads of coins of his inform because when he performs well in game, his inform goes up by about 6 or 7k, which is always good. Uh, then second centre back is going to be Yo. Jonas Cabal, 1700 coins, 77 pace, 80 defending, 83. Sure, everyone's heard of him by now. His free kicks got 99 shot power, one of the only players in the games with that as a normal card. Uh, it's incredibly good on this game, so it really overpowered. And at right back, we have Kyle Walker, cost me 1500 coins, 91 pace, 70 passing, 76 dribbling, 77 defending, 78 heading. People only choose him because of his pace. I think he's the fastest right back in the Prem. And at left back we have Leigh and Baines. 
Cost me 1,900 coins, 79 pace, 71 shots, 78 passing, 77 dribbling, 77 defending. His inform has come out. You can normally pick him up for about 500 coins. Because of his inform, he has gone up a bit. And how well he played, well, how well he played against San Marino. But San Marino are a terrible team and anyone can play well against them. Uh, second centre mid is going to be this right, Nain Gogolan. Nain Gogolan, things I say. 700 coins, 4 star skill, 4 star weak foot. He's so underrated on this game, it's unbelievable. 84 pace, 79 pass, 83 dribbling, 75 defending, 71 shot. He's a really good all rounded card. His stats in game are just incredible. It's, I highly recommend him. He's quite young, so he's a player to look out for on career mode. He's really good on this game because of that 4 star skills and he's really cheap. At left mid, then we have uh, the upgraded. Kak and Niklak, I think so say it, cost me 1100 coins, 83 pace, 77 dribbling on a non-rare silver, incredibly good. On non-upgrade is a 66, I think it is pace and dribbling that I've only got up on the. But yeah, he's a good card, I wasn't going to choose him, I was going to uh, choose PNR instead, but I don't think the striker would have got uh, full chemistry. <clears throat> From him and at striker, then there was two choices. There was this person, Gudietti, or I can't remember his name, but the one who played for West Brom. This one, Gudietti, cost me 1600 coins, 74 pace, 73 shot, three star skills, and three star weak foot. So his left foot isn't going to be that good. We use six foot one, so he's going to be quite tall uh, on the pitch up top. So, yeah, this is going to be the end of the squad builder. It de This team's. Um, it looks incredibly good. There's a re two really good free kick takers, Larson and Nain Gillan. Uh, so yeah, it, it costs around 13k. Anyone can buy this. I would uh, recommend switching up De Gea if you can afford to, and putting a couple of informs like the inform of Barber and the inform uh, Baines. We well, are yeah, going to get into some gameplay now. So, just going into the gameplay now, we can get someone called Marcy 7-7s, seven team's called FC All-Stars. Got the two Barcelona kits and the Barcelona badge, hopefully he doesn't have an amazing team, probably does though. 84 rated Prem team with Diego Alves in goal. Bayor, Aguero, Walker up front, Mata, Silva and Yaya Torre in midfield. And then Ashley Cole, John Terry, Company and Sagna in defence. Don't know why he's got Diego Rivers in goal. He's not a good keeper. He can be good one game, then horrible the next. He has got 100 chemistry. The goalkeeper's still quite obscure. Could have had like De Gea or Julio Cesar for the same money. But yeah, hopefully it'll be a good game. Oh, so we've got the first goal. Barber using all of his pace. Brought out his keeper. Well, Diego Rivers. He has got like 91 reflexes, so he could have done something better. Well, Bobo finessed it into the far corner. So, yeah, it's 1-0 uh, now. Well, that's 1-0. Well, he might as well have not been there, the defender. And he's going to shoot. Oh, so he has got an equaliser. Aguero passed it to Mata from the free kick. Mata, rocket of a shot from there. Has never going to get anywhere near it. That's where, like, all the long, that angle where all the long shots are taken. More like the YouTubers when they try and get uh, montages and stuff. Let's take it from there. It's just going to go straight through the corner. The defence are never going to get a touch. So, yeah, it's 1-1 one, now. Oh, and he has just taken the lead straight after with Aguero. Breaking through the defence. Uh, Distan has got sent off. I don't think I was commentating over it, though. But he got sent off, uh, and then he left our defence wide open. So, it's 2-1 now. So, the half-time was the last gone. Still 2-1 to him at half-time. As you see, Distan got sent off in the 34th. Uh, yep, yeah, there's his goal. Uh, he has been battering me on shots. I've only had three and one on target. He's had 15 and eight on target. My shot actually has been really poor, but then again, I've hardly taken any shots. But yeah, it's been a one-sided half, and the one side's been him. So yeah, we're going to go straight into this second half now. Be a walk -off. 
Goalkeeper might be needed again. It's a cross, but it's a heading. Oh, so he has gone and got a third goal. With a brilliant Fear walk up. Bale. Shot. Then uh, give parody straight back up to Bale. Bale with a little cross in, and then Wilcott was it. Wilcott was it to finish with the head out. Yeah, we're 3 1 down there. The keeper spilling it when he did exactly his away. Wonderful effort. And that's a fantastic. Barbo with the uh, his second goal of the game, brought it back up to 3 2. He brought Diego Alza once again at Barber with the, virtually the same side, just from the other side. Little finesse, just about rolls over the line. Serious pain at the moment. Just about rolls over. So it's 3 2 now in the 66th minute. 3 2. Well, this could have ended his game. He seems to have pulled a muscle. Oh, we brought it back to 3 3. Nan Galan with some lovely work inside. He's so underrated on this game, didn't even need any skill moves, just his ball control alone. Yeah, what can you tell us about this? Well, we brought him back to 3 3 in the 75th minute. They can see. In he slides. Oh, he takes the shot. He's hit the post. Oh, oh he has gone and got a probably the winner. Aguero, one of the weakest shots I've ever seen, almost rolled in, but hit the post. And Theo Walcott was there to get the rebound. But it could be. So, yeah, it's 4 3 now. We might lose this game. We might be able to bring it back to a draw, but you never know. I'll be home here. Oh, would you believe it? I thought it was going to be a draw. Player. There goes the fourth time whistle. We did end up losing 4-3. This stand getting sent off was really the turning point for us uh, in the uh, half-time. Uh, Barbo with two goals, Nangalan with uh, one. You could argue. Okay. So I just uh, want to say thanks for, I think I hit 900 subs two days ago. I think I'm already back up to like 920 or something like that. We, uh, this is going to be episode. This is episode A of ten of the first three. If you did enjoy it, uh, please like, subscribe, and cheers.